This is, this is one of the wonders of the world, the Roman Colosseum. On 15th May 2018, we are in Rome at the Colosseum. अभी जल्दी से फोटो निकालो बारी जाने के बाद ऊपर से खाली ऊपर का है ना अभी I will not say soldier, but uh, the slaves. They were having owners and they had slaves. And the no slaves were put to fight with the enemy.
था मेरा भी उसने खोला था इनसाइड द वेरिको म्यूजियम Peter is called number one. Peter is called number one. Sixty-six. You have a great teacher. I know. I know. I know. Two hundred and sixty-six. I mean, two thousand in Istanbul, right? Istanbul, right? You know, I was born in Rome. I'm not from Rome. I'm from Rome. I'm back from Rome. Where are you? Okay, family. Take pictures, but follow the group. Okay, just always look for your star. You know, the star here is the flag. Never forget this. And it was exactly 500 years ago when the Pope, very famous Pope, Julius. Just remember Julius, Julius II. He was the Pope that started to collect art here. We have not been to ancient Rome yet. We are going later. You know, when we go to ancient Rome, we only see the ruins. We don't see the statue. We don't see the marble. All the marble is here. Because the marble, all the statues were collected by the popes when the popes were the kings of Rome. In 1870, unification of Italy, first king of Italy, Victor Emmanuel II, he defeated the pope. The pope lost all the territories. Rome became the capital city of Italy. Then the pope came and stayed here inside the walls <coughs> as a prisoner of the king from 1870 until 1929. That was the Cold War between Italy and Vatican. It was in 1929, February 11, when Mussolini, some of you remember, mm -hmm. you know Mussolini, mm -hmm. the time of the war. Mm -hmm. He wanted to solve the problem with the Pope. Mussolini met the Pope. Mussolini and the Pope signed the treaty, Lateran Pact or Conciliation Treaty, in 1929. February 11, Italy, Mussolini gave back to the Pope this territory. So this is the territory that was given as a compensation for the Pope after the unification of Italy. So this is the reason why now the Vatican is a separate country. And you see all the art that you will see, you know, along these galleries, these were the private collections of the popes. Very important. Private collections of the popes. In 1929, February 11, the Vatican became a separate country, and the pope, Pius XI, he decided to open all these galleries to the public, and it's museum now, okay? We have uh, 15 museums plus a very famous chapel, the Sistine Chapel. The reason why we are here is because we want to see the Sistine Chapel. The Sistine Chapel is a holy place. The Sistine Chapel is inside the Vatican Museums, but it is a holy place. Holy, the Sistine holy Chapel, holy no photos, no video, silence, no talking. But, you know, although we have these headsets, we can, okay. You can hold the flag for me, thank you. Although we have the headsets, I can't talk in the Sistine Chapel. It is not allowed. But we have the posters here. These are the posters I will use to explain all the paintings of the Sistine Chapel. And family, listen to me carefully, because otherwise when you enter the Sistine Chapel, you don't know where to look at it. It's overwhelming. This is the Sistine Chapel here. See, it is a very simple chapel, maybe the same dimension as the Temple of Solomon in Jerusalem. The Sistine Chapel is named after Pope, Pope Sistus, Sixtus the Fourth. That's why Sistina, the Pope's name. And the Sistine Chapel, remember, is where the Cardinals in the Sistine Chapel. Cardinals lock the door of the Sistine Chapel with the keys. They stay inside the Sistine Chapel until the new Pope is chosen. The wood is secret, you know, they place a stone there where they burn all the ballots and then there is a smoke that comes out of the chimney, black smoke, Pope has not been chosen yet, white smoke, we have the new Pope, maybe you already know about this. I will show you the famous chimney later on when we will be in St. Peter's Square. So everything happens here in the Sistine Chapel. The Sistine Chapel is so important to us. Michelangelo spent nine years of his long career in the Sistine Chapel. All the paintings in the Sistine Chapel are very special. 
fresco painting. Fresco is Italian. Fre fresco means fresh. Painting that is done directly on the wet plaster. The artist has to prepare a layer of plaster, transfer the drawings on the plaster. The artist only has six hours to work on the wet plaster. It is a very difficult technique, but the colors last forever. We can still look at the original colors, vibrant colors used by Michelangelo 500 years ago. Now, not only Michelangelo worked here, other artists, a team of artists, Perugino, Botticelli, Ghirlandaio. Now, Pope Sisto Quarto, end of the 1400s, 1471, he chose this team of artists. They worked as a group in a team and they decorated the two long side walls of the Sistine Chapel. Mm -hmm. On this side, the life of Moses, on this side, the life of Jesus. I don't know if you are familiar with the Bible. Michelangelo said no. <laughs> I am a sculptor, I do not like painting. Just look for another artist. Sorry, sorry, I just moved to this side. But no way, Pope wanted Michelangelo to do it. Then Michelangelo accepted. Michelangelo was a young artist. Michelangelo was only 33 years old when he started painting the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. See, he's there. And this is what Michelangelo did. You see, this is the ceiling after Michelangelo. Michelangelo divided the ceiling into a painted architecture. And in the center, you see here, the first book of the Bible. The book of Genesis. Stories of creation and salvation of mankind. This is what Michelangelo painted on the scene. Now, family, try to follow me because this is very important. When we enter the Sistine Chapel, you have to look at the ceiling. I know, you can, the risk is to get a creak in your neck, but you have to look at the ceiling, okay? We have to start from here. This is the first story. This is the first day. Now, this is when, you know, God wants to give order, when God divides the making of the body. Adam is there, but no life. You know, this being an immaterial gift, it passes without contact from God's finger to Adam's finger. This is God going towards Adam. And you see here, without touching, just in the garden of Eden. They can do everything, but they should not touch. We said the apple, right? It is actually the tree of knowledge. It can be any tree here. Michelangelo painted a fig tree. But the serpent is there, ready to tempt them. They disobey, and next comes the expulsion from the garden of Eden, right? And then God is very upset. God decides to destroy everything, right? God orders the rain, like this morning. 40 days of heavy rain, the flood. But then God remember there is a good man. Noah, right? He called Noah. Noah. The sacrifice of Noah after the flood. Noah is thanking God for having protected his life. And the very last episode here is the drunkenness of Noah. Noah was the first man that planted a vineyard. He is drunk, he is nude, and his sons are called Luigi. And then Michelangelo divided the single episode by adding this. You see, we call them the Inudi, the wingless angels. Each of them is like statue is this, is the last judgment. We are waiting for the second coming of Jesus. Jesus will come again and judge us. Remember? Now, 400 people are painted here. This is Jesus at the center. Jesus, the judge in Christ, Mother Mary, Virgin Mary, heaven, saints, martyrs, all the good people that will be forever with Jesus in heaven. The early Christians died as martyrs. They this died. Is the Apostle they... Bartholomew, one of the twelve disciples of Jesus. You know how Bartholomew died? He was flayed alive. And he's holding his own skin. You see here? Lawrence, Andrew, a group of women here, they look very masculine. It was a problem. Paul was not happy with Michelangelo. You know why? Can you tell me why? All the nudes. This was not allowed. This was the time of the Counter-Reformation. No nudes in a church in the chapel. The Pope asking Michelangelo to cover the nudes. Michelangelo didn't do it. This is how we will be. We will not, if one day we go to heaven, you know, we just go with our body, sense of innocence. But no way. After Michelangelo died, the Pope called another artist that painted, you see the, the draperies here? Mm -hmm. And they used to be more, they used to be many. But in 1980, no long time ago, they restored, they cleaned all the frescoes. These paintings are already 500 years old. 
You know, in the past they used the candles, the suit darkened all the colors. It was all black. They cleaned all the frescoes and they scraped away most of the draperies that were added after Michael And all the critics, all the problems, you know what happened? Don't miss this detail, very important. See the Apostle Bartholomew holding his skin? See the face in the skin? He's the self-portrait of Michelangelo. Michelangelo painted his self-portrait. I'm like Bartholomew. Huh? With all these critics, I feel like being skinny the life. But then, you know, Michelangelo took his revenge. You know what he did? I show you. Heaven. This is hell. hell. Look at the horror. Go to hell. Stay there forever. This is the Acheronte River. This man on the corner here is Minos, the judge of the underworld, the one that decides where the damned go. It seems that Michelangelo sent the cardinal to hell. <laughs> the cardinal that did not like Michelangelo, and Michelangelo did not like the cardinal. And the cardinal is still in hell. No, this is a true story. Heaven, hell, the horizon, right? We believe in the resurrection from the skeleton, the bones, the bodies from the game. The angel with the rosary is helping the couple to ascend to heaven. The importance of prayers. And in the center is a group of angels, the trumpeting angels. They are holding two books, the book of the damned and the book of the elect. Five years for the last judge. Now, family, when you will be inside the system chapel, when you will be looking at the last judge, you have to look. Oh, you see the upper part of the wall on the corner there? Can you see there is a black spot? Yeah. Mm. That black spot was the color before the cleaning. They left the black spot on purpose to show us what it was. Family, these are positive. And very important. Please, please, I need everybody. Yeah. And the black spot. The wall opposite the entrance. Very easy. We enter the system chapel. We Emilia, Emilia. one of the many courtyards that we have inside the Vatican. But this is very famous, the time court, symbol of the Vatican Museum. Now, family, I ask you to follow me upstairs. We are going to...
arms. You see the keys? Peter has the keys. After Peter, all the popes have the keys, the crown. You see the symbol of all the popes? Then this pope chose the fleur de lis, the cypress tree, and the staff. The blue is not the staff. And you keep moving, Jesus and the table change the direction. Oh. It will move, the table will move, the angle will move. Just like it is facing this side, and it will go other side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Who's this? Admit, sorry, if you if you can't control the flash, don't take pictures. Sorry, we have to be respectful. You have to yeah. switch off the flash. It's your flash. It's your flash. No, it comes automatically because you put on auto. You have to remove auto. Then what? Then what? Then what? Then what? years ago. But in the 1500s, astronomers understood that something was wrong with the calculation. They convinced the Pope to reform the calendar. You know what happened? Uh, October the 5th, 1582, then was moved to October the 15th. And now this is the calendar that we still use. You know, one year, 365 days, 12 months, and this is the top of this gallery. This was the time of the geographic discoveries. Have a look at this map. You can take pictures, yeah? This is the map of Rome. I can show you where we are in Roma. This is where we are now, this garden is here. You see behind, these are the gardens. This is the Vatican. Eh? Remember that most of the Italian cities are already 500 years old. So all the Italian cities are represented in this map. If you consider that America was, when was America discovered? 1492, right? In 1580, the maps were already here. The knowledge they had. Yeah? This was the importance of the popes in the past. Look at this map here. The title says Padre Santi Pedro. This was the territory that belonged to the Pope until the unification of Italy. Now, look at this. No, no. Look at this. Now, the Vatican is just this. See, this is the river of Rome. This is the right side of the river, this is the Vatican. Less than half square mile. But in the past, all this belonging to the Pope. The temporal power of the Pope is in the And now, family, you can see that it is very crowded here. Why is it very crowded here? Yeah, yeah. Why is it very crowded? Because we are just very close to the people. We want people to enjoy the city. So we have to have the last of the city and south of the city. Like this. We have to preach. I remember that. This is not one of the things. This is not one of the things. This is not one of the things. 
Thank you. St. Peter's Square. We are at the St. Peter's Square on 15th May 2018 at Rome, Vatican City. I will explain to you now, now, Fifty years old, the only piece of art where Michelangelo has signed on the sash. Ah, okay. The the sash. Okay. Okay.